Hey, you YouTube, it's Jonah. Catch the video, because it's Saturday, not Thursday. Sorry about the delay, but I have a really good reason. Now, if you have played RuneScape for any amount of time at all, you could probably guess what this reason is due to this cash stack. That's right. No, we just got 9900, everybody. Now, we're going to take this trip to this cape, and then I'm going to tell you what this video is actually going to be about. Oh, right, that was actually really doozy. I actually got lost on the way there, but we found the guy. We're going to talk about the skill cape finder. Can I buy a skill cape from you? And he's going to be like, yo, no shit. And he's going to get this shit to me. And I'm going to equip it. Ah, I no, he just got the cape, son. This thing is even following. Whoops. This nigga is even following me. Look at this. Yeah. Check that out. Yeah, boy! Alright, we're back, everybody. I'm going to explain to you what this video is actually going to be about. Now, I figured since I just got this skill and it took, I don't know, 8 million years. I don't know why it says next level at that amount. <laughs> I don't know why it says that. Anyway, we just figured, you know, I spent pff, how fucking long getting this. So I figured I'm going to make a 99 hunter good. I'm going to pretty much show you guys exactly what I did personally. To get to this 99 of this skill, it's it's pretty basic. I'm gonna head over to the first spot, and I'll meet you there. Anyway, here we are at the first spot, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do these until level 19. These are with Crimson Swiss. Yeah, I thought so. I just had to conf confirm their name. I'm not stupid. Anyway, you have to do these, and for these, you're gonna need to pick up a bird snare. Now, bird snares can be bought. I'm gonna show you right here. No, whop, 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 we lost ourselves, whop, wait, all right, right here, this little hunter area right here, all your traps and everything you can buy here, before starting hunter, I'm going to actually show you, okay, so here we are, you know, you're going to want to trade Alec, you don't want to trade this kid, because this kid is just a, he's a scammer, he just, he just wants to trick you into buying this useless shit that you'll never use, now you want to trade Alec, Here's where you'll buy all the traps. Now, here's what I recommend doing. If you're going to go for 99 Hunter, which I imagine you are since you're watching this video, you're going to want to buy, let's say, 10 of these. 10 of these. Well, later on, you'll probably end up needing more of these. The reason you buy multiples is uh because you never know. Like, Jacob may log you out, which has actually happened to me a lot. And then when you log out, your traps fall. You know, you never know. You know, you might lose traps. And then you would have to walk all the way back to Cast Wars, which is the nearest bank where you're mostly behind thing. And... You know, you just don't want to have to do that. You know, go get more when you could just have them all in your inventory. Now, for the total, I think that's all you're going to need, I'm pretty sure. Yes, that is all you're going to need is about, like these amount of traps. You're going to want some bird snares and this. Now, for the first levels, I'm going to show you what I did. Now, you see, the hardest thing about 1 to 99 Hunter is not, one, is not like, you know, the high levels, the 90s, and all that shit. No. The hardest levels in this skill are actually 1 to 19. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it is a bitch. So I'm going to show you a neat little trick right here on how to get 1 to 900 instantly. Not instantly. There's a little bit of work involved, but it's way easier than doing any of that shit. Like uh, catching Crimson Swift at level 1, which is like literally the most stagnating thing. I didn't personally do that. I did this. I'm going to show you exactly, guys, what I did. You know, I walk over here to the Varrock Museum. You know what the Varrock Museum is? Look it up, asshole. Because I just showed you. <laughs> anyway, here we are at the Varrock Museum. You're going to want to go downstairs. Forget all these niggas. You don't want to talk to them. And you want to talk to this guy, Orlando Smith. He say, thanks for all your help. I already did it. Now, you're going to talk to him. And he's going to say, yo, I'm in a pickle. You know, help me out. He's going to say, Yo, you know, what, what can I help you with? He said, oh, well, I mixed up some of the answers and some of the display cases around here. So you're going to end up going all around this museum. There's about, let me think, uh, eight, uh, 12. There's like 16, something like that. There's like 16. Might, might be more. I don't know. I, again, I haven't really counted. I'm not really going to go count. Anyway, you're going to go up to them. And you're going to like push this button, blah, 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 blah. I don't, you're not actually supposed to push the button. Do not press the button. This fucking useless. Okay, okay cool. What the fuck am I on, Barney? Stop! Stop! You piece of shit. Alright, you're gonna wanna click this thing. Which is actually, uh, for you, it's actually going to open up a series of questions. A little, little trivia base. You can look them up if you want. I didn't, because they're actually, they're all pretty easy. Pretty much you answer them all, and it'll take about 
five, maybe ten minutes max, and it's going to get you instantly to 900. After you're done, you're going to want to talk to this guy. It's going to give you 1,000 Hunter experience and 1,000 Slayer experience. You know, if you're level one Slayer, you know, that might be decent for you too. Anyway, let's get back to what actually matters. All right, so we're back here, and if you do exactly what I said, you should be 9 Hunter now. Now, this is the part where you're going to start hunting tr Crimson Swiss. I almost said Tropical Wagtails. That's the next thing. We'll get to those in a sec. Now, you're going to want to lay your traps pretty much like so. It doesn't really matter how you lay your traps here. I'm just going to warm them to kind of look like a penis because, you know, I'm funny. But typically at this level, you're only going to have, I think, one... Tr Could you lay two traps or something? Hold on, let me check. I'm actually not even sure. Uh, what the? Ah! I don't know where the hell it tells you, but I'm pretty sure at this level. Yeah, yeah, yeah wait, wait, wait. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Like once you hit 20, you can only two there at a time. So you're only gonna have one trap at a time. So you're not gonna be able to do what I'm doing here. And anyway, when you loot them, eventually you're just gonna have to wait around until they they let down on your trap. You know, if you don't know what to do, hunter, that's how you do it. You pretty much just sit there and stare at your traps all day like a fucking zombie. And you're pretty much gonna want to, you know, bury the bones, do whatever you could drop them. But me, I just, you know, bury them, prayer XP, prepare XP. You're gonna get these, drop these. These feathers are worthless. Drop these. You're just gonna drop everything you get. You don't wanna do this until level 19. It don't, don't get me wrong, man. Like it just looked easy right there, but this is actually gonna be a bitch level for you. But since you got that nine, right off that start, it's gonna be a lot easier. Now, let me show you what you're gonna be doing at 19. Okay, so from levels 19 to 27, you're going to be doing Tropical Wagtails. And I don't see them right now. They're just, they're going to come flying over. You'll see them. Yeah, there's one. All right, you see this guy? I'm not going to set up my traps because you know, I don't want to be a dickhead to this guy, even though he's probably a bot, to be honest with you. But I'm not going to just come over. But yeah, this is pretty much how you're going to line up your traps, exactly how he's doing it right now. You're going to want to do these till 19 to 27. Pretty much same exact concept as Crimson Swifts. A bit better XP. It's, it will not take you long to get to 27 at all. It'll be really quick, like under an hour. Certainly. Now, from levels from levels 27 to 43, these are big levels, and the most efficient way to do them is I highly recommend doing e the Eagle's Peak quest, which is right here. It doesn't require much. I can't tell you the exact requirements. I know there's a crafting level involved. I think I don't know. There's just just really slight requirements. Actually, there might not be any requirements. I don't know. I'm not the god of answers. Anyway, you don't want to do these because that is going to allow you to hunt the next thing, and I'm about to show you the hunt ferrets so while i'm showing you guys also the fastest path on how to get to the ferrets if you've already done eagle's peak which i imagine you probably haven't to be honest with you because not a lot of people usually do that quest they don't really use usually uh know how useful it is to hunter well unless you've gotten the 9m before i don't know why i'm asking stupid questions point is i'm going to show you how to get to those other spots that we just showed you before because i realized they completely slipped my mind i didn't really show you now to get to the crimson swifts which are right here you are going to want to start at Castle Wars. You have to bring a dueling, you know, teleport there. You're going to take this path, take it down this ridge, go down. Around this part, there's going to be ogres and wolves. Kind of be careful if you're a lower level. You're going to want to want to cut down go across the jungle. There's nothing in the jungle that'll hurt you. And boom, you're right there. Now, and then after that, the, you know, the wagtail spot that I was at, which is right here. It's a really bad X. Anyway, you're going to want to take the same exact path. I just fucking, like, when I cross the water, your guy can swim now. And you're going to take the same path down, you're just going to go straight down. Boom, you're there. That's where you're going to be setting up your traps. So, yeah, so that's great. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you the fast way. Now, this is uh, a way that's... Bitch! This is a way that's only uh, able to be done if you've done Tree Dome Village in uh, Gnome Stronghold, I believe. Gnome Stronghold, I get believe, for the gliders. But you're going to want to teleport to Lumbridge, run over to Al Carid. You know, pay the fee because I haven't done that piece of shit question. You're going to fly to the Grand Tree. From the Grand Tree, you're going to want to run down here. I'm going to let pause it for a sec. All right, so we're going to pick up back here. We're at the entrance of the Grand Tree. You pretty much just, you know, go down those ladders. You're going to head south. If you've been here, you probably already know how to do it. But, you know, it's not really that hard. I'm not going to bother showing you a map. Again, climb the ladders, go south. You know how to get up the damn tree. Anyway, you're going to want to go in this way. You're going to want to continue west until eventually you hit the curve, which is going to come around around here, and you're going to go straight north. From there, you're going to find this path, which I will sh we'll see in a second, which is going to take you up to the Eagle's Peak. All right, as you can see right here, this is where you can pick up a bunch of useless shit, like frog legs, all that dumb shit. Like, I don't know, for herb lore or whatever the fuck ever. I don't really care. I'm not going to fucking show you that. There's a fucking hunter, guys. Stop asking me dumb questions. Anyway, 
We're going to be running up here, blah, blah, blah. I know, far-ass run. I would pause it, but, you know, I really want to show you guys a direct path to get there. I mean, I could have probably just went there and then pause it and then shown you a path, you know, with paint. But, you know, I didn't really think that one through too much. And now we're out of run. Oh, great. We're going to walk there. No, that's cool. Anyway, this this pretty much gives you a better example how to get there anyway. So, you know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to complain. It's even better than a the line. It just takes a bit longer. Now, this is the path you want to approach. You see, right before this U tree right here. You're going to go up this path. Again, again, you have to have completed Eagle's Peak Quest to use this this hunting site over here. So, just keep that in mind and hunt. And Eagle's Peak will actually give you a few hunter levels itself. So, that's actually really nice. It gives you hunter experience, and then you're going to run over here, turn on my fucking run, because we need some exercise, because clearly my guide does not work out. Anyway, you're going to climb down these rocks right here. I mean, these rocks, just look on the side of the fence, just blah, 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 blah. And it's Nicholas, fuck this kid. He is completely irrelevant. Now, this is where the fair is. You are going to be training here until 43. Typically, I usually set my trap. Where did I set my traps? I'm trying to remember. It was a long ass time ago. I think I set mine somewhat like this. Yeah, somewhat like this. See, at this point, you'll only have two traps until you hit 40, which you'll have three traps. But you'll pretty much be just doing it like that. They'll be trading off. See, like they get in there, you know, they catch them, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Catch a ferret, catch a ferret, catch a ferret. Yep, and that's how you do it. You're going to be doing that until 43. I'm not going to bother going into detail of how much XP you can get. You can do the math yourselves. Again, this is pretty much just kind of like more of a brief video and just showing exactly what I did to get the one to 99. Now, you're going to, again, you're going to be doing that until 43 Hunter. At 43, you're going to begin Falconry, the bane of your existence as a hunter, because this is probably one of the most annoying methods, but the XP is really good, so you got to do it. Sorry. Now I'm going to show you where that is right now. All right, so here we are at the Falconry area. You're pretty much going to climb over this little stile. It's at the north side of it, right by the hut. You're going to walk over here. You're going to run over here. You're going to talk to Mattias. Now, Mattias is going to charge you 500 gold. You need 500 gold for each subsequent time that you come here. Like, once you pay the 500 gold, there's no time limit. You instantly... Hold on, can I have a go with your birds? What you got to select? You're going to say 500, you're going to be like, all right, that sounds reasonable. Not really, he's a fucking cheapskate. But, oh, god damn it! You also have to have a hand free, I'm sorry. God. See, this is why you don't do guides in the fly. You're supposed to just do them. You're supposed to have a script. You're supposed to, you know, take down your lines. Anyway, that seems reasonable. Not really, again, you're a cheapskate. You're going to get this hawk. This hawk on your hand. Now, from here, you are going to be hunting spotted kebits. Spotted kebits. Not, not to be confused with dark kebits. Or the dashing kebits, which are somewhere else. Which are right here. This... Uh, fuck you! That guy. You're going to that they're going to drop you each time. A spot of fur, bones. I drop the fur, bear the bones. The fur isn't really worth worth keeping. It's not. There's not a market for it. It doesn't sell for that much. It's completely worthless. Now, from 57 to 60, after you've done that, you're going to be catching dark kebits. I know. These 43 to 57 is actually probably going to take you a little while. Now... The reason being the 60 is actually kind of an important reason. Now, at level 59, you are you will be allowed to catch red salamanders, which I'll show you in a second. But the reason you're waiting till 60 is because doing dark habits is better experience. You know, it's a better experience rate until you get 60, where you're allowed to use four traps, which makes it optimal experience to do red salamanders, which I will again show you in a second. So stop asking me. Anyway. I'm going to show you right now how to get to this place that I'm at right now, the Falconry place. I'm going to open up paint, blah, 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 blah. That's not it. Damn it! Anyway, we're just going to open up the stupid map. Now, we're going to zoom in right here. This is where we were when we were doing, uh, you know, the fairs that we were just at. We're going to just come out here, follow this path, and you're going to go straight up right here. It's not that far. You're going to find out where they, again, you're going to be going there at 43 and staying there until 60. And at 60, you're going to be starting Red Salamanders, which are probably my most hatred of all methods, but the experience is so great that it is perfectly worth how annoying it is. Now, let me show you how to do those. 
Alright, now before we get to the red cylinder spot, I recommend you run over to Catherby. Unless, of course, you already have the supplies needed, which, of course, for the traps, you're going to need a rope and a small fishing net for each trap. Now, and each time you make the trap, and every time it falls over, both of these things are going to drop on the ground. You have to come up. That's the most frustrating part. You're going to run, run, run over here. This is in Catherby. It's a pretty fast thing. You know, 45, tele 45 magic to teleport to Camelot, blah, blah, blah. Just go to a fishing shop, alright? Stop asking me questions. And you're going to want to buy, no, that was close. You're going to buy five small fishing nets. Typically, you want to get more because you never know if you're going to lose them, you know. But, you know, I'm only going to bring five because I'm just pretty much showing you the basics. Now, from here, you're going to want to use your ring of dueling, which I'm hoping you have one. And you're going to want to teleport to Castle Wars. Now, I'm going to run there now, and then I'm going to show you again on paint where exactly to go to get there. All right, so here we are at Red Salamanders. These are the trap posts. You're pretty much going to be wanting to set it up. However the hell you wish, I believe there's four? Yes, four. At this point, again, you're 60 now. You should be 60. You're going to set up traps all around. Just one, two, and of course, three and four. Now, let me show you to get here. The thing is, it's really, it's pretty comp. Yeah! Sorry, I cannot talk right now. I've been up on, like, no sleep, and I'm doing this right on the fly, so I apologize. It's pretty stuttering I'm doing right now, but pretty much they're going to walk into your traps, like so. They're going to come up. You're going to check them in the trap. You're going to get a red cell, man. You pretty much just want to release them. They're pretty much useless. I don't know why he's not going in that trap. Yeah, there he goes. But yeah, you're going to be do doing these until 63. And that is where you we will begin your journey to 99 Hunter. Now, to get here to the red salamanders, of course, you'll have to, ch again, teleport to Castle Wars. I got this paintbrush. I said, grab the damn paintbrush, asshole! Thank you. Anyway, take the path. From here, you're gonna take this, you're gonna go around, you're gonna show up here, but then you have to go around like this, because there's actually a, like a wall you can't go over, and then boom, here you are. Yeah. You're gonna, again, you wanna train here from 60 till 63, and now the next thing will be what you will be doing till 99. You're gonna be doing it the whole 26, th no, 36 levels. Sorry. But allow me to show you how to do those, and those are my expertise, because I don't know if, if I've showed my bank enough in this video, I actually have 47k of them in the bank. It actually took a while. So let's get there, shall we? Alright, so here we are at the final location on our long journey to 99 Hunter. This is where we're going, going to be staying here for, mm, I can't exactly give you the, the exact time, because of course it's going to depend on how much you play. It took me roughly... Two and a half weeks to catch the 47,000 red chin chomp is needed. I know, intimidating number, but believe me, it actually doesn't take all that long. And again, it took me two and a half weeks, and I actually, for like two or three of those days, I didn't play like at all. So, that's, you know, just something to consider. It really doesn't take that long. Now, perfectly ideally, there are actually five spots for red chins that are all, you know, semi-efficient. This is the one I chose. I know it's... It's one of the most crowded ones, but I just felt it gave the most efficient experience. Other people might argue it's spot four, which I'll tell you in a second. Uh, but anyway, you're pretty much going to be wanting to set up your traps here, 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 and here. Unless, of course, again, you're not 80 Hunter yet. That's, of course, from 63, you're only going to have four traps, so you want to lay them here, 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 and here in a perfect square. Pretty much starting that use this is like your little marker. You want to stand exactly where I'm standing right here. And set one here, one here, one here, and one here. You know, perfect square. You're going to want, want to do that until 80, and then eventually you get five traps, and then the experience goes way faster. Uh, arguably, some people actually do red salamanders all the way till 80. I did not. I did not want to do those any longer, but they are better experience up until 80. Once you hit 80, red chins are indefinitely better experience. At red cell range, you can grant up to, what, something like 82k XP an hour, which is actually really good. But uh, around here, like, once you get into the higher levels, you can... I was pulling, like, 110k experience an hour, but around level 80, you're going to get in around, what, 95k? something 92 95k, you know, something like that. I'm just going to do some rough calculations in my head. Now, allow me to show you these spots in the map. Now, all right, so here we are. This is pretty much where we're standing right now. Hold on, let me get out the brush. We are standing approximately right there. But I should probably give red. It's going to be a lot easier to see if I do it in red. Right there. You're standing right here in this area. This is spot one. This is what I call it. So we're going to mark it spot one. 
I know, this, these numbers are probably going to look like shit. Now, spot two is right here, just a little bit south, and I'll show you that right now. And this is another spot, but this is probably uh, probably the second least efficient spot, so I don't really recommend doing this. But if you're going to do this, because, uh, like, for example, there's a lot of bots that do this scale. So it's actually sometimes you might get forced to this spot. It's not that bad experience. I don't, I'm kind of, you know, over-exaggerating. It just, it's not as efficient as the other one. You want to tra layer traps here, 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 and here. And, of course, if you're 80, you want to lay another trap right there in the middle. Pretty much use this little edging up piece of grass right here is your middle end, you know. Boom, 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 boom. That's how you're going to lay your, your traps. Spot th that is spot number two. Yeah, two. Pfft, that's the worst two <laughs> I've ever seen. Spot three, a little to the west, it's going to be right here. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm a little inexperienced. I've actually never done this spot, so I'm sorry. I'm not really going to be able to tell you how to place your traps. It's, just, it's somewhere around here, probably a little bit more south. I'm not even going to bother showing you, but pretty much it's around this area. I don't recommend doing this because this is like the least efficient spot. It's like a little bit south of this. It's like the least efficient spot. There's obstacles everywhere. I do not recommend doing that spot. I'm just saying it's probably, let's say, we'll say it's right around there. That is spot three, which I do not, do not do spot three. It's just awful. Now, next thing you want to do is spot four. Spot four is arguably the most efficient spot of them all, but unfortunately, it is also the most crowded by bots. Bots have taken up an infamous toll in just wrecking this fucking skill to the ground and just making it so shit isn't worth shit. And it's just going to make it a lot harder for you because you're going to have to be switching a lot of worlds. A lot. Like, I switched a lot of worlds. After a while, like, once you get to the higher 90s, like, if you get there... You're pretty much not going to care so much about skipping worlds, because a lot of times, like, if, you, if like some other guy tries to stay in your world with you, you're pretty much going to be getting a lot more experience than he's going to be getting, because the, they're going to be going for your traps, not his. Now, arguably, there's there's actually some, uh, actually a little bit of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't find the word, I'm not going to bother saying, uh, a thousand times looking for the word, but some people can debate about how you're going to lay your traps. Me, personally, when I do, did this spot, I laid one trap, like, right here. See this? Like, right next to this plant, right here. No, no, bitch, not on the plant. Right here. You want to lay on the plant. And then another one right here. And another one right here. And then another one right here. And right here. Again, you can always replay the video and find out exactly where I'm sitting. You can use this. It's your, like, it's your middleman. It's like where to start. That is spot four. The reason this spot is the best is around three chins spawn here. It doesn't sound like very much, but you'll learn how what that means later on. Three chins is actually a pretty decent amount. And they cannot run this way, which means they are more likely to go for your traps rather than running off in the distance. But on the other hand, I usually carry a bow with these arrows. And if they usually ever run too far away, I usually shoot them down anyway. And then they respawn next to your trap and run right into it. This... Finally, is right south of that. Again, I'm just going to mark it on the map just to be sure. Right there. This is five. This is the final spot. This is also pretty efficient. You're going to want to set them exactly like this guy's doing. See? One, two, three, four, five. You're going to set them exactly like this. Like, you know, take a picture if you need. Anyway, you set them like this in the square right here. And this, this spot is rather efficient too. I personally never used it, but it's actually a pretty decent spot, I've heard. Again, it's nothing like three. Don't ever use three. Three's a, the fucking devil. Now, anyway, I think that wraps all of it up. That's pretty much how you're going to be getting your 9900. You're going to be going to do this 63 to 99 Red Shin Champas. You're going to make roughly 20 mil, something like that. And again, depending on price. In, the, in this video, uh, 47,000 chins pretty much roughed out to like 18.6 mil. But you know, again, prices change, so don't take my word on it. But I made around 20 mil. I don't really even plan on selling the chins yet. I want to see if they'll go up. But... 63 to 99, Red Shin Champas, 47k of them. I know it seems like an intimidating number. It's actually not that bad, guys. But anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. And this is how I got one in 99 Hunter. It took me two and a half weeks. And I hope you guys can get your cape just like I did. I hope this was helpful to you. And until next time, as always, peace.